if you want to know how you can make a donating slash gifting system on Roblox like this one, where if I click give, the other player gets the amount of money you put in, you're going to have to watch this video all the way to the end to find exactly how to make this. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a donating slash gifting system. What I mean with that, you're going to get a UI at the bottom of your screen, like right over here or something, and uh, you can put in a player's name, the amount of money you want to donate, and then you can just simply click on gift or donate, whatever you want to do. So it's a really simple tutorial, and I really thought I should make a tutorial on it. I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers, so thank you so much for almost 10,000 subscribers. I'm really hyped for it. I got some epic stuff planned for 10,000 subs, and it's going to be really epic. So if you do, in fact, like this tutorial, make sure to give it a like if you like it. If you don't like it, give it a dislike. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on that notification bell to never miss out on anything I upload. I try to upload daily, and um, yeah, become a member by clicking the blue join button down below if you want. And all I can say is that, without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So, you want to get the model from the link in the description below. And, uh, yeah, just get it. It's a, it's a little kit you need, and which we can uh, script the thing from it. So, just get it from the link in the description, and you should, uh, you should be good to go. So, uh, to insert it, you want to go to Toolbox, and you want to go to the four blocks over here, Inventory. And you want to click on Donate System, two scripts, click OK and uh, yeah that's good so you want to paste the things in them into their uh, directory so replicate a storage goes in replicate a storage delete the folder server script service goes into server script service yes and starter GUI goes into starter GUI like this so you should see name and money it doesn't really matter you can put in whatever you want but name dollar and give okay so uh, the scripts are very small, so let's immediately head to coding. So in here, we are going to zoom in, and then what we're going to type is local replicated storage is equals to game, colon get service replicated storage, and then we need to get the handler, so local handler is equals to replicated storage dot handler, script dot parent dot frame dot gif dot mouse button one click, colon connect function of nothing. Uh, so now we need to check if you actually filled in something because we don't want you to just break the system. So if script that parent that frame that player name that text is other than nothing. So if you put something in it, so wavy equals means other than. So if you put something in the in the thing, this will just yeah just get. But we also need to check if you put an amount. So script that parent that frame that amount that text is other than nothing. So if you put something in the player name and the amount, then we know you fill something in, and we're gonna check in the on the server if you actually if it actually exists and all that stuff. But uh, we just need to fire a remote event. So handler colon fire server script that parent that frame that player name that text. So we're gonna fire the player and script that parent that frame that amount that text. We're gonna also fire the amount. So now you want to immediately head back to the server over here. And uh, we're almost done already. Local players is the game. Call on get service players. And then go back to your client script, copy the first two lines, and head back and just paste it in, just like that. Now we need we need some kind of thing. So I'm gonna make money. So player dot player added. Oh players dot player added. Call on connect function of a player. Uh, we need leader stats to give you money. So local leader stats is equals to instance dot new a folder and leader stats dot name is equals to leader stats because leader stats means uh, it will be at like at the top right of your screen you will see like money and that's what leader stats is leader stats but parent is equals to player we're gonna put that in the player but now we need money so local money is equals to instance dot new a number value because money is a number the name of money is money we're gonna get you can give a custom uh, value I'm gonna give myself uh, 50,000 money money dot parent is going to be in the leader stats because if we, we if we would play our game right now so let's click play you will see at the top right of my screen you will see player you can see my player fifty thousand dollars 
So now uh, we're almost done. We just need uh, to do some checkups. So handler that on server event colon connect function, and we need the player. We need a player name, and we need the amount. You're probably wondering, newbie, why do you add an extra player? That is because if always if it's on server event, the first one is the player. That's always the case. Now we're just gonna do three uh, random checks. If not player, then return end. Because if there's no player, what are we gonna do? If if not player name, then return end. If not amount, then return end. So someone could be a little bit annoying and they could actually put a text in the amount, which is not what we're going to do. So if player, so if there's a player and the player name has been filled in. So let me just do, yeah, player name and two number amount because two number means it will always transform into a number. Then, so if there's a player, a player name and there's an actual number, then we're going to check if you have enough money because you cannot go in a negative. If player dot leader stats dot money dot value is the same or above as so um, greater than or equals two number amount, then so if you have enough money, we can give you we can give the other player the money. But we haven't found the actual player yet. If players colon find first child and then player name like that. So if there's a player name, so if the game can find it, then local other is equals to players colon find first child player name because now we're gonna uh, uh, now we've got the actual player model of it and now we can simply do player that later stats that money that value minus equals because we're gonna remove it from our account to number amount and to the other player so other dot leader stats that money that value because the other person is gonna get money so plus equals to number amount like that and then if this is not true, then return, because if there if the player isn't there, we're just going to do nothing. And over here, uh, else, return. So if you don't have enough money, we'll also just do nothing. And this is the entire script done. This is how easy it is. So now let's head over into a testing game. So this is my little testing game. I got two people running, two persons, whatever you want to call it. So this is player one. So we're going to give money to player two, this one over here. So I'm going to type in player two. And I want to give him a hundred thousand dollars. Now let's give it. We can't because nothing happens. We don't have enough money. What if it happens if I try to give him forty thousand? Give. As you can see, forty thousand gets added to the other player, and forty thousand gets uh, removed from my account. So let me just type it in the other one, player one. And I want to give ninety thousand. Give. As you can see, I just got a hundred thousand dollars. So let me just give uh, him, yeah, fifty thousand. Just to square and fair, you know? And as you can see, we both have 50,000 now. So what happens if I try to do another name? LOL XD give. As you can see, nothing happens. So this is a little tutorial on how to make a donating slash gifting system on Roblox uh, for everyone free to use. So if you did in fact enjoy the tutorial, make sure to give it a like. If you like it, if you don't like it, drop a dislike on the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell. Become a member, do anything you want. All I can say is that my name is Newbie. And I say, peace out.